Hey what's up guys, welcome to another Team of the Season player review with me your boy FIFA Wonder HD. This episode we're going to be looking at Team of the Season Terry and his 90 rated centre back card. But before we do that as always I'd ask you to give the video a like, hit the subscribe button for the channel and follow me on Twitter, it is all greatly appreciated. So we're going to look back at John Terry and his Team of the Season card now. Obviously, this card is dirt cheap because of his pace, but I've noticed a fair few people have been using Terry and his sort of regular card and a few of the sort of informed cards and stuff that he has been getting. So I was interested, I was intrigued to give him a go with this, you know, greatly improved card. And I was surprised in some ways and disappointed in others because, yes pace isn't great and I've, I've he's probably the slowest defender that I've used you know I've used people like Javi Martinez who's got like great sort of defensive attributes and pretty rubbish pace before and he was all right you know I found him pretty usable um, but 50 pace man is hard I'm not gonna lie it is not great at all um, his acceleration at 41 really, really kills him because everyone is using storage and people like that, you know, who are just absolutely rapid and it kills you, you know, it really does. And when they've got good players like Aguero and, and things like that, you know, they, they take their chances as well. So not only do they get in, but the pace, you know, and their, phys their sort of uh, shooting ability punishes you very very hard don't get me wrong his positioning and his tackling is top notch you know as you can see anything in the air he's going to win 99 heading insane he's also got some you know like decent long shots and shot power which i really liked uh he's passing very very good indeed but obviously his stand tackle his slide tackle his strength you know at 98 98 and 95 respectively you know, are really, really good. He's got the leadership, power header traits, you know, nice additions, and a four-star weak foot. So he has got a lot going for him, don't get me wrong. You know, in the box, he's brilliant at corners, both defending them and attacking them. Defensively, his positioning is normally quite good, but if you make a mistake, they're gone past him. That is the only problem. You know, he makes some great challenges, both on his feet and sliding, he makes great blocks, great interceptions. When he gets the ball, his range of passing is pretty good. And I found that his dribbling wasn't too bad either. He's got good work rates. There's a lot going for this card. But the pace does make using him very difficult indeed, I've got to say. And that is why he's so cheap. To get a 90-rated centre-back from the Premier League, team of the season card, nice shiny blue card for only 33k on Xbox, and about 69k on PlayStation is incredible. And obviously it's just down to his pace. A lot of people are put off. That's why I've only given him a 7. You know, I did enjoy using him. There was a lot of good things. And when partnered with someone like Koscielny or or someone like Anua or so, someone really quick, quick fullbacks as well to, to help him out, you know, you can cope with him. But you always feel like you're carrying him. FIFA is set up so well for pacey players that, you know, defensive stats are good. You know, and you do notice it on quick, good defenders. But it doesn't solve the pace problem. And that is the issue with this Terry card. He is good. He's great in the air. Tackling, superb. Strength, solid as a rock. His passing and ball control, I found pretty good. I was able to, uh, you know, nick the ball back. Dribble past a couple of players just into a bit of open space and hit some really nice passes. But the sprint speed and the acceleration absolutely destroy him because you know everyone's using quick players and you're going to struggle. You know, that, that is the bottom line. You know, that's why I had to give him a 7. Uh, I wouldn't necessarily recommend using him because I don't think a lot of people will like him. But he's not a bad card for the price, you know. If you if you do put those sort of players around him where you've got quick fullbacks and a quick centre back with him, you'll probably be all right. And in certain formations, I think he'll work really really well. But other than that, not necessarily a card I'm probably going to keep and use an awful lot. 
But, you know, it's nice to have the option and it's nice having a player that is so, so cheap to use. So, this was the review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and peace.